Good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. So it's day 85 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour, R-E-C-T, Get Wrecked for Recovery. A bicycle trip across the United States to raise awareness that there are addiction recovery options available, that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world that just wanna help you, talk to you and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. So I'm here in Girard, Kansas. Uh, I slept under this pavilion last night. I was able to dry out my tent uh, and dry out my everything, really. I just laid it all out, all across the tables and benches. Uh, hung my footprint from the rafters. and uh, There was a train in Girard. If you're riding the Transamerica Trail, uh, the train that comes through Girard, it came through about four times last night. And it blows the horn for at least two minutes. Every little street it has to blow the horn for all the way through Girard. And so it just doesn't stop. So I was up for a couple minutes at least about four times last night. Uh, also the bathrooms are locked over here at the uh, pool. The pool is empty. Uh, so I got to go up to the gas station this morning and uh, go ahead and resupply and get ready to head into Missouri which I'm excited about but I have also kind of mixed emotions about those hills but uh, it's not gonna be a problem I think it's gonna be beautiful I talked to Chloe and Paula and they told me about a couple of uh, bridge detour road closures that are ahead in Missouri uh, they're already in Illinois so they're moving uh, I don't think they took uh, the extra day off uh, that I took for the rain and snow they may not have taken any off they may have been far enough east at that point to not have to deal with the weather uh, so yeah I'm gonna get on the road it's nice and early I think it's like 8 o'clock right now um, so hopefully I can cover some miles today I think I've got 20 miles to the Missouri border and then maybe another like 40 to the first place that has a campground. Uh, I'm back in a bunch of trees, so if I just need to pull off and camp somewhere, I'm sure I can find a place now. It's not like the desert where there's, you know, you could see a, my bright orange tent from 100 miles away. Uh, so, yeah, uh, either way, I'm going to get on the road and you'll see more of that right about now. All right, so I stopped in here into the Pittsburgh uh, park. This is one side of the park. It's got this nice pavilion here. Uh, tables, electrical outlets, uh, camping for $10. Showers, toilets, sink, water, uh, grills. This is a really nice little place for 10 bucks. Uh, but I'm not camping here. I am 6.5 6.4 miles from Missouri. So definitely gonna make some more headroom today It is very overcast um, a Little bit rainy not enough to like put any rain gear on or anything just like tiny little sprinkles almost like riding through fog uh, So it's a really good day to get some miles in. I hope that I'm able to get quite a few I looked up the place that I'm going. It's uh, 48 miles from where I left this morning. And I think it's called Golden City. And then there's a place after that, another 20 miles, that if I'm just, you know, if I don't have to take a break out of the hot part of the day, I can keep pedaling. Uh, it's only really just the heat. And it's funny because, you know, back in the mountains, I was like, yeah, it looks like I'm going to be in the 80s all the way across, you know, the United States. 80s, 70s is highs. You know, that'll be great. I totally forgot about humidity. 80 in the mountains was like wear a jacket. No humidity. Here, 80, you know, with the sunlight in the middle of the day, it's like I've got to get in the shade. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to keep making uh, some headway here. 
take a little bit of a rest, drink some Coca-Cola, and get back on the road. I love you guys. I'll see you later. All right, so I stopped here at Brahms. Uh, I think that's the first Brahms burger I ever had. I had the Gouda burger with uh, jalapenos and Gouda cheese. It was really good. So I was in town here and I noticed that I had five bars of 4G service. So I was like, well, I'll go ahead and upload the YouTube video while I'm here. So I went to an antique store, found some postcards for Kansas, came in here, sat down and filled them out. They let me charge my phone here, uh, which was awesome. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm uh, going to get on the road. I called Golden Cities Park. They're unlocking the showers for me. And, uh, yeah, I think I've got like 35 miles to go. But in six miles, I'll be in Missouri. You'll see more of that right about now. Toto, I really don't think we're in Kansas anymore. How about that last sign? Come again. No, I will never come back to this state. Unless I do the Transamerica Trail again with my wife or my kids. Uh, there's really nothing in Kansas except Sterling that I found just overwhelmingly awesome and, you know, would love to go back and visit. But I got some hills ahead of me in Missouri, so I better get after it. I'm so glad. State number eight, Missouri. I love you guys. I'll see you later. All right, I made it to Golden City City Park in state number eight, Missouri. Uh, looking at those clouds as I turned back around, I went to the Casey's gas station. It's the only thing that was open uh, and got some more pizza. Uh, and uh, Jeremy Kinder actually gave me a donation today and said, hey, make sure you buy some Casey's pizza. So thanks, brother. I appreciate you. So that's what I'm going to eat tonight. Uh, I made it here to the park shelter. 
Uh, I talked to City Hall earlier. There's a uh, bathroom, a shower. Uh, they said they were going to leave the shower unlocked, but they did not. So, I'm currently trying to find out if there's anywhere I can do my laundry in this town. Because if I get a shower, I'm going to be in my last pair of clothes, and I definitely want to have the other ones ready when I need them. Uh, so, still going to try to work that out. Uh, but, I needed to go ahead and close out the video for the day because it's been a really good day. I got to experience some of the Missouri Hills. So about the first 15 miles today was flat as a pancake. And then the middle 15 miles was like a roller coaster. And if that's anything what it's going to be like, I don't mind it so much. I remember coming up a few of those 5,000 foot climbs where I was like, when is this ever going to stop? But this was more like ride to the top you know, fight pretty hard to get to the top of a hill, coast down real fast, get to the bottom of the next one, fight pretty hard to get, so you get a lot of breaks. Uh, so I didn't mind it so much. Um, granted, I know the hills are going to get a lot larger, but the ones that I were able to cross today weren't that bad. So Anyway, I got to cut and edit this video, get it posted. I do have service here, so hopefully this will upload tonight. And then I got to work out this shower and uh, dinner and laundromat situation. Uh, look at my route ahead and find out if there's anything forward of me where I can put those things off for another day or two. I've still got plenty of days that I can make it. I just don't like to if I don't have to. So, with all that being said, if you know anyone who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments or find me on Facebook. Adam Lineberry, Mobile, Alabama, and I would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. If you know anybody who's actively addicted, share this with them. I don't want to see anybody else die from addiction. And uh, let's use YouTube as a tool to hopefully save a life. Uh, you know, we're pedaling toward building a rehab together, uh, but that doesn't mean we can't use uh, Redeeming Eden, the ministry that it is now, as a tool. Uh, if you know anybody who's in recovery, share this with them. Uh, we're all in it together, and I definitely need the recovery community's prayers and support as much as I pray for and support the recovery community. It is by your prayers. I'm in state number eight, Missouri. I know I can't say that enough. I've just made it to the eighth state like on my trip. That's so cool to me. Uh, and God's provided the whole entire way, which is the coolest thing about it. I uh, left on faith with $150 and I'm in Missouri now. <laughs> you just can't outgive God. Uh, and so, yeah, Redeeming Eden is a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. I'll leave a donation link in the description. Uh, you can go there to uh, my bio on their website, and you can donate one time. You can donate monthly. It's whatever the Lord puts on your heart. Uh, and if He puts it on your heart, just pray. Then just pray. That's plenty. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for liking these videos on YouTube. For sharing these videos on your social media platforms uh, for subscribing to the YouTube channel and from here in Golden City Missouri I love you guys Jesus loves you I'll see you later have a good night